That didn't take too long. It's one of those jobs, it's gotta be done. It makes an amazing difference to how the plot looks when you get rid of that huge structure. Well, I thought I'd share that with you. That's the any old Iron Man. Quite unusual, but he picks up everything that's scrap metal and makes money out of it. So good for him. So, what's left? Well, those of you that watch my channel regularly will know that I did a bit of an experiment in here which was to plant some leeks between the beans. And you can see them here. They've not really come to much. And that's the way experiments go. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. And I guess there's so little light getting in amongst these leeks that they just didn't really have too much of a chance. But when I'm clearing up, I'm gonna leave them in and see if they perk up and come to anything. Uh, they're certainly very tender and still looking very young. We'll see. And the view across the plot now is very different indeed. And I've got a lot of foliage to get rid of. And this will go on the compost bin and it'll just make good compost in good time. So, now it's time to clear up and make good. That's about it on this bed. We'll leave those leaks as they are for now, see how they get along. And we won't get to covering that with compost probably until November, even December. We'll just let the ground rest for a while and then we'll cover it up with the horse manure compost ready for next season. So next on my list, apart from putting away these canes in the polytunnel, is to get the cosmos out, which has been fantastic, but is past its best now for sure and of course the poppies and the marigolds over the last couple of days have just got washed out and they're looking pretty forlorn so whilst I'm at it I'm going to take those out as well. So one of the subscribers in the comments asked how this membrane's getting on. That was a really good question. The membrane's doing really well. It's not going to live forever. It's definitely got a limited life, but it's enabled me to take over this plot and keep control of the weeds without very much effort at all. And you can see when I'm doing jobs like pulling out the plants, which was really easy, I could sweep up and keep it clean just so simply. And then we get a bit of rain and it washes clean. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's keeping the maintenance down really low and that's what it was always planned to do. So those flowers, if you ever wonder how difficult it is to get all those flowers out, it's simple. They just pull out really easily. And I'm putting back this wire mesh which is for keeping the cats off. Uh, you may have seen in my last video, they'll make good use of any space like this as a cat litter tray. And I don't want that 
because it's just messy and can be a little bit dangerous. So that's covered that up. And these calendula, which are sprouting, I'm just gonna leave them, but I'm gonna put this last cover over the top. So all that plant matter will go into the compost bins. And at the moment, it's just going in a big pile until I take the horse compost out and then I can put it in and leave it there for the winter. The next clearing job I've got to do is the experimental bean bed. And that's really important because I need to get my garlic in. So that's where I'm heading next. Well, that's the bulk of the garlic in. I actually ran out of uh, the bulbs, so I had to go home and get a couple more. And my garlic bulbs are taken from my own harvest. So I pick the very best of the garlic that I harvest, dry it, store it for a short while, and then it goes into the ground for next year. And I bought myself a couple more corns over and I'll put those into the ground now so i had white rot in the garlic beds on the other side of the allotment and that's why i've come over here but it's really important not to get near that space whilst i'm planting these new bulbs you can carry that virus or disease on your boots on your hands on your tools so make sure your tools have not been in that ground and that you don't bring it over to the new site so I'm going to get these in now and hopefully that'll be the garlic planted and ready for next year. <coughs> well, I left the last few squash to see if they could grow on anymore. And the nights are getting really, really cold now. And it's just a lottery when we're going to have a really hard frost. So I'm going to take up everything that's left and see what we've got. So it's a bit of a hunt in here. You've got to look carefully, although the leaves are definitely drying out and making it easier. I don't think there's anything else that I left around here, but over here, there's definitely a butternut. And there she is. I'll take her. What else have we got in here? A couple of little ones. And it's so easy to miss one. There's a couple of really tiny ones, which I don't think I'm going to bother with. Um, oh, there's one. And another. And it may well be that these will ripen when I take them indoors. We'll see how we get on. And there's just one here, which I think is quite mature, but it's just a smaller one. 
There we go. So at least two good squash there and a whole bunch of unripe and small ones which we'll use for cooking. Well, one of the things that I meant to do was tie up these purple sprouting broccoli. I did one of them and it's very noticeable how well that was performed since I tied it up and I clearly need to do the rest with the same. So you can see here how they just fall over with the weight of the leaves and that doesn't allow them to grow vigorously. And this one which I've tied against the stake is by far and away the biggest of them all. There's another one here that's lent right over. So I'm just gonna go through now and make sure they're all tied to the stakes and so that they do their best. There we go, that's much better. They're all stood up now. I ended up tying in every one of them, even those that were not struggling, because they clearly will over time as the winter comes into play and the winds get a bit stronger. So hopefully they will all do well. One of the things that I still needed to do was to take the onions out of these two beds. I put some onions in between the main vegetables as a catch crop and I just want to make sure that I don't lose them. So they're coming out now. And there should be some quite reasonable onions in here. Yeah. We'll go through and take those out and take those home. Well, no prizes for guessing what my last job for today is. These apples, they're just about starting to drop. I found a couple on the floor and I'm going to get them in. So I really don't think that they're eaters. These that have got a pink blush on them are still quite sour but they'll make great stewed apple. So I'm going to work my way through the tree carefully with my ladder and bring them all in. <laughs> missed any. It's quite difficult amongst the foliage but I think I got everything. The tree's in really good condition and who'd have thought what a harvest of apples. Well they're going to be stewed. <laughs> got to peel them first. Who knows what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. We'll see. I do hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, click the subscribe button, click the like button, and if you want updates from me each time I upload a video, click the bell and select all. I do hope you have a great day. Diochenbach.